The Ag command is an extremely fast way to add up an entire dimension inside of an S-based calc script. The Ag command only works on sparse dimensions, and it doesn't do formulas on those dimensions. Now, in general, your sparse dimensions will not have formulas, because sparse formulas are a really slow thing to do. So the Ag command is generally a whole lot faster than calcdim, but calcdim will do formulas, whereas Ag will not. Syntax is pretty simple. Just say Ag. And then between parentheses, put either one dimension or multiple dimensions separated by commas. So if I want to do just one dimension, maybe my product dimension, I could say ag, parentheses, product, parentheses, and then a semicolon. Or let's say I'm doing sample basic, which actually only has two dimensions that need to be aggregated. That's just product and market. I could say ag, product, comma, market, and then a semicolon. Sample basic is actually a good example of an application where calc all or calc dim is a pretty slow thing to do because we have five dimensions in Sample Basic, but only two of them actually have aggregations stored, and those are product and market. Now you do need to be a little bit careful, because you might think if you say product comma market, it's gonna do the product dimension first, and then the market dimension second, but sometimes it completely ignores the order that you put the dimensions in. Check your application log, and you'll see that sometimes it'll decide, oh, I should do market before product. You really can't control the order unless you break it apart onto multiple ag commands. You can use an ag inside of a fix. All we have to do is say fix on whatever members we want to narrow the ag down to, and then ag the dimensions we want to add up. Now you can't fix on a dimension, then aggregate that dimension. So in my case, I'm fixing on a member of the snare dimension, actual, and a member of the measures dimension, sales, and then I'm aggregating two completely different dimensions in product and market. Now let's say you actually have a sparse dimension with a formula on it, and that member is stored. You can still use the ag command. All you have to do is just ag that dimension. So in my case, I'm going to aggregate the market dimension. And then you have to specify the member on a line by itself, followed by a semicolon. And that's going to calculate the formula on that member. When possible, try and use the ag command over calcdim. Although you will find cases where even though it's a sparse dimension with no formulas, calcdim might be faster. You can benchmark them both ways. But when in doubt, ag is going to work the majority of the time.